What's up guys? This is Doc Charlo of Zootopia Animal Clinic. Welcome to my vlog. And in this video, I'm going to discuss types of breeds that is perfect for you. So I'm very sorry dahil hindi tayo nakagawa ng vlog last week. So I know, marami sa inyo nag-aabang and uh, I hope panoorin natin ang video na to and let us know kung ano ang perfect breed para sa inyong family. And the most common breed na masasuggest ko sa inyo at i-discuss natin will be Shih Tzus. Shih Tzus are very cute and it's very common na nakikita ninyo every day of your life. It, it's actually a very old na breed of dog and it's actually came from Tibet. And did you know that uh, Shih Tzu are mixed breed of Pekingese at mga Lhasa Apso? They are usually termed as Lion Dog. It's uh, obviously because of their fur na napakahaba and uh, from head to toe. So, kaya humaba ng sobrang sobra ang buhok ng inyong mga Shih Tzus. Shih Tzus are actually demanding for grooming. Ibig sabihin, kailangan nila ng daily grooming and of course, if you cannot maintain that, uh, you can come to any grooming station such as here in Zootopia and my clinic, Imus and Dasma branch. Shih Tzus are commonly groomed every two months. So, sometimes meron nagpapagroom every month. It's very important na ma-maintain ang kanilang grooming dahil ang kanilang buhok ay napakahaba at very prone sila sa pag clump or pagkakaroon ng matted hair. So, of health, Shih Tzus have issues in the kidney and diet problems. So, kidney problems are very common sa kanila. So, you really have to prepare a best kind of dog food para maiwasan yung mga ganitong klaseng sakit sa kanila. And of course, they are very prone with mange. Mange is a parasite sa balat. So, tingnan nyo maiki kung ang inyong dog ay mayroong pamumula, kakaroon ng uh, balakubak, uh, excessive pangangate. It's actually a very common sign of mange. So, ayan ang mga common na sakit ng mga Shih Tzu na kailangan nyo i-consider before buying one. And Shih Tzus are actually the hardest breed to train. Aside from that, Shih Tzu are very active and they are a perfect family dog because they are uh, not commonly aggressive towards other people, especially kung na-socialize sila maigi. So, uh, Shih Tzus are perfect for you if you have ample amount of time in terms of grooming. And of course, they are very easy din na alagaan sa bahay dahil maliit lang sila. So, food consumption is uh, minimal and also, yun nga lang, ang kanilang consideration lang sa Shih Tzus are the grooming. So, if you if you can commit yourself na ma-maintain ang kanilang grooming habits and also, uh, if you want a perfect lap, perfect lap dog, Shih Tzus are the best for you. The most common na breed sa Zootopia Animal Clinic and maybe sa ibang clinic would be the Siberian Huskies. One common characteristics for Siberian Huskies ay napaka-ingay nila. They have a loud and a strong bark so mahilig silang maghaul. And uh, if you can uh, stand that, well, maybe Siberian is a good dog for you. Also, tulad ng Shih Tzus, Siberian Husky requires intensive and laborious grooming because they have double coat. As you all know, na makapalambok ng Siberian Huskies, they are designed sa malalamig na country. So here in the Philippines, if you have Siberian Husky, it takes a lot of effort para i-groom sila. At, uh, Matanggal yung mga excessive hair nila and also, if you're prepared to have excessive uh, hair loss sa bahay or yung mga sheddings nila, uh, maybe you can have Siberian Husky. One thing to consider with Siberian Husky, they are energetic dogs. They require a lot of space and exercise. So if you cannot walk your dog or you cannot walk, uh, if you do not have time to walk your dog, Siberian Husky is not for you. 
Siberia, Siberian Husky requires a lot of exercise and running. So, kailangan po, dedicated kayo if you have a Siberian Husky. At dahil makapal ang kanilang buhok, they require intensive cooling mechanisms such as electric fan, yellow sa kanilang water, and of course, pagpapaligo sa kanila would be more frequent than other dogs. Dahil nga, here in the Philippines, we are a tropical country. So, napaka-init dito compared sa ibang bansa which is designed talaga ang Huskies. So, kailangan po ma-maintain niyo ang temperature nila ang malamig. And of course, uh, they are prone with heat stress and sometimes heat stroke if hindi niyo nagawa ito ng tama. Health issues of Siberian Huskies commonly is uh, hip dysplasia or displacement ng kanilang femur or yung kanilang hind legs. Uh, they have problems with bones and also they have common problems with eye. So, kailangan nyo i-consider yan that uh, if you're going to have a Siberian Husky, makita ninyo kung uh, okay ba ang kanilang hips, ang kanilang paglalakad. So, you have to observe for this kind of health, health issues with Siberian Huskies. Also, isa pa pala, ihahabol ko lang, Siberian Huskies are prone with mange. So, dogs with mange are actually, gaya ng sinabi ko siya, sitsus, excessive na pangangate, pamumula, and uh, pagkakaroon ng balakubak is a sign of uh, mange infection. So, if that's the case, if you're prepared for all these health issues, maybe a Siberian Husky is a perfect dog for the family. Next common breed here in Zootopia is Pug. <laughs> Pugs are uh, brachycephalic dogs. Ibig sabihin, short-snouted sila. Hindi tulad sa mga Siberian Huskies na mahaba ang kanilang snout. Ibig sabihin, pugs have issues regarding their breathing. So once maikli ang nostrils nila, ang kanilang breathing ay medyo hirap. So you have to make sure that there's an ample amount of air circulation in the room ng inyong mga dogs or pugs before you get one. Lalo kapag ka warmer ang weather or mas mainit, mas hirap huminga ang mga pugs. So, kailangan nyo silang tapatan ng electric fan and also minimize nyo yung kanilang uh, activity especially during warmer times dahil masyadong hirap silang huminga pag mga gantong panahon. See? Pugs have a lot of folds in their face. So, sa ilalim ng mga folds na yan, may mga moisture or sa mga folds, kung saan-saan sa kanilang mukha, may mga moisture yan that requires constant wiping. So, kailangan every day, so 2 to 3 times a day, i-wipe nyo ng uh, tissue yung kanilang mga undermines behind the folds. Dahil kung hindi, magkakaroon ito ng bacterial infection at very prone sila magkaroon ng irritation sa, sa mga ilalim ng mga folds nila. So, that's one thing to consider when you're going to have pug. Also, health issues with pug are mange infection, kagaya ng Shih Tzu at Siberian, Siberian Huskies. At uh, isa pang common health issues nila would be proptosis. Ano nga ba ang proptosis? Proptosis is an outward displacement of the eyeball. Loob nila malaki at maliit lang ang kanilang sakit. Once magkaroon ng compression with the tali and uh, of course dog fight sometimes, nagbabulge out yung mata nila which is a serious health problem. So for pug owners and sa mga nagpaplano magkaroon ng pug, make sure do not uh, wag nyo silang gamitan ng leash dahil pwede silang magkaroon ng proptosis, mas maigi nang gumamit ng harness and uh, other health concerns. Ayun lang naman so you have to consider that before buying pug. And pugs are actually very kind dog. They are very easy to train. But uh, isa pa sa mga makukomment ko sa pug is may amoy sila. Most of the pug patients ko, unless otherwise sobrang alaga talaga, ay mayroong distinct na amoy ng dog na mahirap mawala unless gumamit ka ng magandang shampoo and also frequent na pagpapalik ko sa kanila. They are very easy to socialize and they are very easy na makasama sa bahay. So, kailangan nyo lang pong uh, maging handa sa mga nabanggit ko before having a pug. Next common breed! Pomeranians. Pomeranians are very small. They are very energetic. They require a lot of grooming as well. Tulad ng Siberian Huskies and Shih Tzu. So they have makapal na fur. So kailangan talaga in a span of 1 to 2 months nagugroom sila. And also it requires 
uh, constant combing or pagkasusuplay sa kanilang buhok para hindi sila magkaroon ng matted hair. Pomeranian, since they are very small, they are very prone with hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia is ang pagbaba ng sugar levels ng dugo which causes lethargy and uh, panginginig and sometimes nagko-collapse yung dog so you really have to feed your Pomeranian specifically lalo yung mga puppies 1 year old and below ng uh, around 3 to 4 times para maiwasan to. They're also very smart and easy to learn so madali silang i-train. One common health issues with uh, Pomeranian is they are very prone for tooth loss. So, madaling ma mag-fall off or masira ang kanilang mga ipin. So, you have to take care sa kanilang dental health. Also, one health issue is that they are very prone with loxating patella. So, bone issue yan. Kaya, common din sa kanila ang pagkakaroon ng trachea collapse and the uh, reverse nissing. So, yung mga ganyang instances, you have to consult a veterinarian to address those issues and uh, before buying a Pomeranian, please do consider yung mga nabanggit ko and also consider that they are excessive shatter ng buho. So, tulad ng mga Siberian Huskies, if you are prepared na mag ng balahibo sa buong bahay ninyo, well, uh, if you're ready with that, Pomeranian might be a perfect dog for your family. They are very cute, they are very loud when they uh, bark, although maliit lang to, pero masakit sa tenga talaga. Uh, just train them good and uh, of course, bigyan sila ng enough nutrition. Pomeranians are perfect and very very cute na breed of dog. Next breed of dog, be Chow Chow. Chow Chow is a very unique breed of dog. They have 44 teeth compared to other dogs na 42 lang. And also they have a very bluish black tongue. So yung mga pure breed na Chow Chow, check nyo yan sa kanilang dila. Kung ang kanilang dila ay itim, they are a pure breed Chow Chow. One thing to consider with Chow Chow is their distinct hereditary aggression. So, ibig sabihin yan, normal sa mga chow chow na maging aggressive. So, nasa lahi nila na maging uh, extra aggressive. Kaya kailangan yung i-train, i-socialize ng maayos sa mga chow chow ninyo. At of course, simula puppy pa lang is ma mapaigin natin itong ganito at ma-prevent yung pagiging aggressive nila. So, without proper training and uh, focus sa kanilang uh, socialization, magkakaroon kayo ng mag malaking problema with your chow chow. So you have to consider that. One of the health issues with chow chow is mange infection. It's very common na mayroong mange ang mga chow chow, meaning may parasite sila sa kanilang balat. If na-stress sila, nagkaroon ng sakit, sometimes talagang uh, dumadami yung kanilang uh, balakubak, pangangate, hair loss, tulad ng mga nabanggit ko kanina. Uh, very prone sila with that. Also, since sila ay makapal ang buhok, they are also very prone with heat stroke or heat stress. So, kailangan i-cool down nyo sila tulad ng ginagawa natin sa mga Siberian Huskies. And also, isa pa sa mga health issues ng Chow Chow would be uh, bone problems. So, so, hip dysplasia, again, with the hind legs. So, kailangan tingnan nyo kung normal pa ba sila maglakad or uh, meron bang abnormality sa kanilang hind legs before having one. Or, if you have one, you have to closely monitor your dog if they have that already. Chow Chows are actually very protective to their owners. And one thing to consider is that they are not an active breed. So they don't need much exercise unlike Siberian and other uh, big breeds. So again, tandaan natin if you're planning to have a Chow Chow, make sure you prepare for better and effective socialization sa kanila. I-socialize nyo sa ibang tao at sa ibang dogs. But of course, before you do that, dapat kompleto na ang kanilang deworming and bakuna. So that's all about Chow Chow. You have to consider everything. Baka ang Chow Chow is the perfect dog for your family. And last but not the least is Chihuahua. So I have a Chihuahua, a 7-year-old Chihuahua named Jasmine. He's been my dog since when I was in college. 
uh, actually, uh, regalo siya ng father ko, pero one thing I can say about this breed, they are easily maintained dog. They don't need much grooming, they don't eat so much food, but they are excessively barking. talagang active silang mag-bark. Kahit konting kaluskos lang sa inyong bahay, talagang mag-iingay na sila. And uh, of course, that's a very beneficial lalo sa mga malalaking bahay kung saan uh, or dun sa mga family na gusto ng uh, effective na alarm. <laughs> Kasi ang, ang, ang uh, kanilang bark is very mataas ang ang tono and of course maririnig nyo talaga very active sila in, in terms of barking pero yun nga maliit ang pupo kaunti yung kinakain and uh, they are very friendly so unlike yung, na, yung tumatak sa isip ng iba na ang mga chihuahua ay very aggressive if you train your chihuahua ng maayos hindi sila magiging uh, aggressive towards other people but uh, they are very protective with their owners and uh, again they, they bark so much so if you can handle that maybe chihuahua is the best for you and in terms of uh, health issues with chihuahua wala naman masyadong health issues sa kanila and uh, kwento ko lang din sa inyo that my jasmine is uh, 7 years old na nga and wala pa siyang sakit ever since so well, uh, ang pinaka-easiest na breed for me is Chihuahua. Napakadali nilang alagaan at uh, kaunti lang yung mga dapat i-consider nyo. Kung gusto nyo ng chill lang na aso, Chihuahua is perfect dog for your family. So that's everything about dog breeds. If you're planning to buy a new dog, please do consider studying yung kanilang breeds and things about that breed na bibili ninyo. Generally, all they need, lahat ng dogs in this world, Ang kailangan nila ay tender, loving care, shelter, food, and of course, companionship. They are family. They are part, they're, they're going to be part of your family. So make sure to love them, provide everything that they need, and then uh, everything will be fine. So I hope lahat ng uh, fur babies, ng mga fur parents na nanonood ng video na to ay maging healthy. Always consult your veterinarian for any kinds of medical concerns. And uh, please, uh, if you have questions, just comment down below. I'll try to answer it. We're live din tayo minsan para masagot yung mga questions niyo. Usually, I do that around the 12 to 1 p.m. because that's my lunch break, and I dedicate that. I dedicate that sa inyo mga fur parents. So again, salamat po for staying and watching this video. I hope to see you on my next video. Salamat. God bless.